So this is about the Therify.net plasma healing uh, system that we have evolved here. It was inspired largely by Priory, who was so famous in France. Now the Priory system was a plasma system and inspired, as uh, Paul was discussing, uh, largely by Lukowski and Reif to some extent. Uh, Priory pursued that work, applying those frequencies, but he added a critical element which made it what I would call more broad spectral or including more higher frequencies and specifically using a noble gas plasma. Now one thing to know about noble gases, the reason they're called noble is because obviously the outer electron shell symmetry is more platonic, more conjugate, more fractal, more implosive. That's why they're noble is they're so stable. So the reason the noble gases then serve so well is because they're inherently conjugators like monoatomics, clathrates, fullerenes, that kind of thing. So the atom of the noble gas itself sort of looks fullerene like dodeca eicosa. And that inherently makes the atom of the noble gas what's called a conjugator or imploder or in general terms quite literally fractal. At any rate, so if we have a plasma, a gas, uh, and the noble gas mis mixture is, is part of our little intellectual property, but a very unique combination of noble gases makes the most bioactive field. And that's our keyword here, bioactivefield.com. And so we add all of this history of work, Lukowski and Reif, and we take it to Priory, and Priory, after spending millions of dollars, was quite successful. The French government documented hundreds, if not thousands, of cases of cancer actually healed. And this was a very effective healing technology. It was anti-swelling, anti-cyst, and, and tumor reductive. It was quite effective. Very well documented, lots of literature. Feel free to look at the PDFs, therify.net, and elsewhere. Point being that the French, in a way, had to kind of give up because you could throw so much money at it, but if you didn't understand the core physical principle, the, the core concept, in some sense then the technology is unusable because you can't perf pursue it, you can't perfect it, you can't understand this actual biophysics. And so that's where it came along, you know, my background. I have been studying this, the geometry of the wave mechanics of implosion for many years, our group, implosion group, fractalfield.com. We say that the, you know, mathematics is clear that uh, fractality is infinite compression. Everyone agrees. What is new to science is what a fractal electric field looks like, and that's where we are right here at this moment. So what I newly proved in my new book, Origins of Biologic Negentropy, was that if you took the Planck length and time, visualize the sine wave in the symbol for the Tao, and you multiply by exponents, exact integer exponents, powers of golden mean ratio, which we have proven is the mathematics of Max constructive wave interference and therefore the wave geometry of what's called phase conjugation, meaning to add and multiply, visualize pine cones kissing noses, visualize a caduceus. So if you take that cascade precisely, Planck length and time, which is the musical key signature of all of matter, everyone agrees, and then just whole number exponents, golden mean ratio, you get the exact two frequencies of photosynthesis, the exact duration, of, almost exact duration of the Earth year and the Venus year, you get the exact radii of hydrogen, new equation, and you get the frequencies of hydrogen, and you get the frequencies of the Schumann harmonic cascade, why Gaia is negentropic, and you get, it turns out, and this is what we learned, when we studied the frequencies Priori used in his plasma, hello, now we know the principle. It's called a phase conjugate negentropic collapse wave, pure implosion. So, you know, I kind of had this genius that, well, call it, call it what you like, it is pure principle that this system for ways to implode and collapse, remember phase conjugation was the first proof that physics ever had that negentropy, self-organization was possible. Phase conjugate optics, time reversal, self-organization is solid physics in phase conjugate optics. We have extended that to plasma science. So we took the frequencies pre use and we fixed it. We tuned it up, we perfected it. The trigger frequencies, kilohertz and inspiring megahertz, all the way down to the low frequency cascade. Now pure physics of the equation, for example, Priori didn't understand that the opposing plasma tubes had to phase conjugate precisely with the phase relationship of invert pair. Again, pine cones kissing noses, exact opposites. So the bioactive field is precisely focused like a lens in the center, just like two opposing lasers phase conjugate. And so you have it basically an implosion field. And that's centripetal, and that is the opposite of swelling, the opposite of tumors, the opposite of cysts. And if you know, for the sort of biologist who's looking at cancer, for example, 
Remember, we're not making any claims here. We're saying simply that apparently this is a light bulb that's very helpful, and you go try it and see for yourself. We're not making claims here, but you should look at priori literature because there's lots of documentation. But if a biophysicist is asking you, well, how does that work to help, for example, cancer? Well, if you look at the biophysics of what's happening in the cell, the food's coming in a relatively long wave, and then it becomes a mitochondria, it's a shorter wave. And finally, at the climax moment for the energy field of the cell, before it drives meiosis mitosis, the DNA replication, you have the shortest wavelength of cell mechanics, which is a high quality ultraviolet light, the blue fire of the cell. Now, if you made a graph of that harmonic cascade of the cell, it would look like our same caduceus. And that high quality UV light is just like the sex juice of the cell. If there's no way out for it, like kids having sex prematurely, it's going to replicate, it's going to divide. But if you provide a path out for the high quality ultraviolet, which in the case of cancer is the touch at the surface, it's a path. So if a cell turns spherical, it's called cancer. And if a cell doesn't respond to touch, namely propagate its UV, that's how you define cancer, contact inhibition. So, if you take a harmonic cascade, broad spectral phase conjugation, which is what this is, therefore, priori, you provide a path through center implosively for the distribution of the creative juice, the ultraviolet of that cell. So, every doctor would agree that the distribution of cellular energy is the opposite of cancer. And cancer is a cell that forgot how to distribute its charge. It's very simple. And how do you distribute perfectly? Phase conjugate fractal field. Fractal field is perfected charge distribution. So it's teaching the cells how to share their energy by imploding. So this is a little language, a little conversation about the background, the science, so you can begin to think about it. Read more about the physics at fractalfield.com or therify.net. But you can see why we're excited, because this is proof of concept for bioactive fields in general. We have bioactive field plasma, we have bioactive field glass, we have bioactive field electrostatics. You know, Lukowski was doing this capacitively. We're doing it broad spectrally, much more powerfully because it's pure implosion right up and down the scale. So, I have carried on enough. This is very exciting breakthrough technology. We invite you to find out for yourself. Again, we're not making claims, but we're saying that pure physics is beautiful and it's worth looking at and the experience is actually blissful.